and I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but I think I can say that every single member, Labor Party member of this House, is a trade unionist. I think I can say every single, every single Labor member is a member of a trade union. Uh, and, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, if uh, if those that uh, would like Order, to out the level themselves of as not too being high. trade union members would like to raise their hands now, I'll uh, conveniently read into Hansard those that aren't members of a trade union. The, uh, the, uh, member, the member for the Hunter is not a member of a trade union. Cunningham. 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 Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Member for Cunningham is not a member of a trade union. I don't think there's any other member of the uh, Labor Party that is not a member of a trade union. So I just got to get this. I just got to get this clear in my mind. Labor, Labor has one member. Order. The miscellaneous workers. I call the Treasurer and I ask him to come back to the question. Yeah, well, I'm, I've been asked about uh, the importance of business and understanding uh, business to national policy. And I'm just making the point that whilst there's only one business person that's been appointed to advise the Labor Party, there's only one Labor Party member that's not a member of a trade union, apparently. Uh, Mr Speaker, and, and Order. Of course, Order. she is a member. She is a member? She is a member. Oh! We got unanimous. Oh, I thought it was unanimous, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if you want to know where Labor stands on business, just contrast the lack of any business person who has joined their council <laughs> with 100% coverage by the trade union movement of the members of the parliamentary Labor Party. Labor doesn't seem to have any trouble getting trade unionists into uh, this parliament. None whatsoever. But it does seem to have a great deal of trouble getting business people onto their council of business advisers. It tells you where the Labor Party stands. The Labor Party doesn't understand business, and the Labor Party doesn't have strong relations with business. And if the Labor Party gets elected, it won't be in the interests of business, but in the interests of the trade union movement that it will govern. Yeah, yeah, yeah.